Hello students, welcome to 60 out of 60 in KSET Chemistry 2025 series in just 200 days. So today we are going to discuss hydrocarbons part 3 where we will be talking about the preparation method of alkenes. Okay? So I know I am making very small videos on that so that you can just watch them quickly and understand the concepts because these are all regarding your KSET examination based on your KSET uh, examination. So make sure that you make no, po, like notes for this and just revise them. These are that is the reason I am making uh, very small small videos on these topics and we will be having 10 videos and you just can finish them very quickly. Okay? So let us get here now to the next uh, one that is, so these all things I have already discussed. So today we are in part 3 discussing the preparation of alkenes. Okay? Next, uh, so you can see we have almost 10 parts and we are in third part, year wise weightage 1 to 2 questions. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you about the PU2 success blueprint test series. So as you all know, right, uh, to get a very good rank in KSET, right, only doing good in KSET is not enough. You need to be equally good in your PU2 examination. So nobody actually take care of this. So Diksha has come up here with PU2 success blueprint test series, which will help you to get 95% and above in your board examination. So what all things are included here? So here you are getting 12 mock test papers. In which includes four part test and five uh, like four part test and eight full length papers and these question papers will be from the subject PC, MB and CS. Okay, according to the latest pattern and syllabus. Apart from that, you will be getting doubt clarification classes, one shot revision videos and above all, the most important thing, detailed video explanation of the solutions. Okay, so then these all things were available at 599. So mark my words, were available at 599. But now since there are Christmas, so we have thought you to give you a discount offer of flat rupees hundred if you use the coupon AISH100. Okay, so if you use this, we can avail this at just 499 rupees. Everything is at your step at just 499 rupees. So students, please do not delay because this. Um, this uh, I can say offer is valid only up to December 28th okay and one more thing so if you want to buy this please go to the description section click on the link and purchase it as soon as possible okay so now let us move towards our class that is preparation of alkane so we have three methods one is from unsaturated hydrocarbons second is from alkyl halides and the third one is from carboxylic acid okay so some name reactions and all we'll be seeing today so three methods so first one is from unsaturated hydrocarbons so i've already told you what is unsaturated hydrocarbons right so just we have a brief overlap here of all the preparation methods so from unsaturated hydrocarbons from alkyl chlorides you have two method one is reduction with zinc another is woods reaction and then you have from carboxylic acid decarboxylation reaction and Cole's electrolytic method okay so let us see the first method that is from uh, sorry that is preparation of alco alkenes from unsaturated hydrocarbons okay so what you can do when you add dihydrogen gas means h2 gas adds to alkenes and alkynes in the presence of finely divided catalysts like platinum palladium or nickel to form alkenes this process is called as hydrogenation reaction okay so now if i give you and give you one example uh, if you have like this Okay, and if you just give hydrogen in presence of palladium, platinum or nickel, okay, then what will happen? This bond will break and hydrogen will be attached here, okay. So, you will get like this and hydrogen will be attached here, okay. Clear? This is called as from unsaturated hydrocarbons, you can get hydrocarbons, okay, or alkenes. Now second method is from alkyl chlorides okay and in, in, in that we have two methods right using zinc and another one is Woods reaction. So how we will get using zinc? So you can see reduction with zinc just you take any alkyl halide okay except fluorides remember except fluorides on reduction with zinc and dilute HCl give alkenes. So for example alkyl halide means alkyl group with halogen okay. So if I have for example CH3Cl. And if I just treat it with zinc, 
and HCl. Okay, so what I'll get? This H will come here. Okay, and I will get CH4. Okay, and the salt of zinc. Getting this is your reduction with zinc. Next, your third uh, like from alkyl chlorides only there is one more reaction that is Wood's reaction. This is very very important because it is a name reaction, so you must remember the definition here. So alkyl halides on treatment with sodium metal in dry ether solution gives higher alkenes. This reaction is known as Wood's reaction. Okay, and for so I'll tell you a reaction for this one. For example, you have two times of CH3Cl, and if you just react with sodium in presence of dry ether okay so what will happen cl will go out and this two times ch3 will come ch3 ch3 okay and you see there are two cl there is na so what it will form you will get two na cl okay so if one carbon is there the product will have two carbons okay now if i take for example ch3 CH2 Cl and if I just treat it with Na and dry ether okay okay then what will happen this group will be I will be getting CH3 CH2 and again CH2 CH3 right so I will get four carbons here if the reactant has two carbons here if I have one carbon I will be getting two carbons right so you will always get higher alkanes in case of Wood's reaction. Okay, so understood how we can prepare from alkyl halides. So if we have alkyl halides and you want uh, alkanes of the same number of carbons, you can simply use Z and HCl. And if you want to double the number of carbon, okay, not increase, you can just double it. Then you need what? Wood's reaction for that, okay. And the reagent for this is sodium dry ether. Okay, next one we'll see the next one is from carboxylic acid. Okay, and here also we have two methods. The first one is decarboxylation reaction. So the sodium salts of carboxylic acid. Now you know carbo carboxylic acids are acid group. If you treat sodium hydroxide with carboxylic acid, so acid and base will give you a salt. So sodium salt of carboxylic acid on heating with soda lime. Okay, this is important. Soda lime. Okay give alkanes containing one carbon atom less than the carboxylic acid. This process of elimination of carbon dioxide from carboxylic acid is known as decarboxylation. Okay. So, I will show you uh, one second. Mm, okay, one second. Yeah, fine. So, now we will see a reaction here. Suppose I have CH3COOH. Okay. And you just treat it with soda lime. So, what is soda lime? Remember this one NaOH plus CaO. Okay, this is very important. So, I will highlight it and write here soda lime. Soda lime is NaOH plus CaO. Okay, so now if you heat with this one, what will happen? There will be decarboxylation, right? So, carbon dioxide will go out. And what is left? CH4. One second, yeah, okay. Now, if you see that in this acid, okay, so this is acid, right? But we do not need acid. What we need here? Sodium salt of acid. So, we need sodium salt of acid, okay. So, now if you this one treat with NaOH and CO, you get this one. So, here you see there were two carbons, right? And in the product, you have only one carbon. So, in this method of preparation, always there will be one carbon less than the number of carbons in the acid okay and this method is called as decarboxylation because co2 group is released or removed out in this process okay fine now see the next uh, method again from electro uh, from carboxylic acid the method is coles electrolytic method okay so an aqueous solution of sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid again you need to take the salt of carboxylic acid on electrolysis gives alkane containing even number of carbon atoms at the anode okay so there is a formation of uh, even alkane containing even number of carbons at the anode part okay so now we will see this reaction okay so first you can see here when you have the sodium salt okay so ch3co minus and na plus this is the salt you have made an aqueous solution of this one okay and when you pass electrolysis through this one so what I will get? I will get ethane 
then this one will get converted to water uh, sorry CO2 then here you have H2 and you get NaOH okay. Now how does this is form? The reaction is supposed to follow the following path. So can you see that what is happening exactly? So when you have this CH3COO minus right this group okay. So where anode is what? Anode is the electrolysis in that anode is positively charged and cathode is negatively charged okay. So what will happen? to in react in the anode side this CH3COO minus will go okay. Now at anode always what happens at anode there is oxidation oxidation means what loss of electrons okay. So this COO minus will lose two electrons okay. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 okay. So it has lost two electrons okay there were one uh, okay. So this was the normal electronic configuration okay so it has one extra electron here. So now it has lost two electrons so we are having here number of electrons like this. Next what will happen the bond will break like this here and you get a free radical here okay. So this free radical will react with another such free radical to give you ethane okay. And what is there towards the cathode? Towards the cathode what happens the water gets attracted and you get H2 gas produced at cathode and alkanes produced at anode okay fine. So this is the overall reaction and this is the step by step method. So you should remember what here that the alkanes are produced on which electrode alkanes are produced at the anode electrode okay. So that is all I think students in this class so I have already told you regarding this so just remember the coupon you can use the coupon AISH100 to get flat rupees 100 off and you can avail the test series at 499 rupees and yes students that is all we have just revised today preparation method so remember let us recall it. We have three methods of preparation right the first one is from hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes here you have to use H2 with nickel, palladium or platinum. The second one is from alkyl halides here we have two methods one is reduction with zinc and HCl and the second one is the reduction using so not reduction the reaction of Wood's reaction where you have to use the halo. Uh, alkyl halide then you can use sodium in presence of dry ether and you will get an alkane clear and next is your the third one that is your uh, from uh, carboxylic acid so generally you have to prepare the salts of carboxylic acid and the first one you can use decarboxylation using NaOH and CaO and here you should remember that the alkane that you are forming will have one carbon less than the number of carbons in the acid. And the second method from carboxylic acid is your Coles electrolytic method. So you have to just take the aqueous solution of the salt and then uh, electrolyze it okay you just put electricity pass electricity through the solution the CH3 when the uh, what I can say the acetate or the ion of the sodium Na plus and you will have the salt the negative part will go towards the anode and there is free radical mechanism there and we get an alkane there okay. So that is all in this class students I hope you have revised you have understood if you have any doubt please if you have any doubt please do not forget to comment down I will definitely address it and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.